we are down in this freaking dungeon of deliciousness. That's what Eric just said. This is freaking nuts. Like, we came down like two stories, and there's just like fruits and vegetables everywhere. We're looking at all these microgreens. This is awesome. <laughs> it's kind of creepy, but kind of awesome. So we're walking around uh, Toronto. What is this district called? Do you know? Like Chinatown it's area? It's Chinatown, yeah. It's Chinatown area. Just really, really cool stuff. Like the local food scene down there is really, really interesting. There's really great fish uh, shops. We've been to really cool butchers. It's a decent town. It's a decent town. So now we're uh, gonna shoot B-roll. Shooting B-roll, walking down the streets of Chinatown. Find and then buying some gifts for the kids. Tomorrow's the main event. We're cooking for like a couple thousand people. If Jason say yes, so I'm totally stealing Eric's phrase, the dungeon of deliciousness. <laughs> that was pretty amazing. How did you find that place? So, you know, we talk about the human element. When you're running around the world, just it's not about the food anymore. It's about right. the people. Food's almost secondary, but that was some amazing but that food. Wasn't, that wasn't just food. That was like <laughs> something you see in a, in a, you wouldn't even see it in a movie. No. It was so unique. So basically we walked into this, what was it called again? I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know. It was called Dungeon of Deliciousness, is what it was called. Well, there's a, there's a storefront, and then you go down to the basement, and it opens up. Yeah, it was amazing. You walk in, and like literally a cavern of culinary. <laughs> Can we keep going? Cavern of culinary. <laughs> so basically, down there was like all kinds of fruits and vegetables. We were specifically looking for microgreens. We've got 50 different menu items to roll out in four hours at a, at a racetrack here in Toronto. So we're about to throw down. Yeah, it's not hey, just 50. It's 50 amazing. Oh, I missed something. Does that make you happy? <laughs> cool. <laughs> Here doing Kamada Joe's. Kamada Joe's are all over the place in Chinatown. How about that? So it is day two. We're here at the Dixon Smoke Show in Toronto. So I'm hanging out with uh, Chef Eric Gephardt from Kamada Joe. We're doing 53 different menu items. It's insane. It's super windy and cold. It's probably actually not that cold, but I'm a Floridian. So, you know, we get pretty cold. Let's stop talking about a food montage. So that is the end of day two, Toronto, come out of Joe. It was exhausting. We made this scorpion steak. It's like a tomahawk, but it's like a three bone. You just have to wait to the video because Eric explains the whole thing. We did some champagne risotto. We did some scallops. We did tuna, a lot of tuna with this gorgeous little um, lime and lemon zest crust. Unbelievable, so delicious. I'm exhausted. I'm hungry. I'm gonna go eat a bunch of food. Thank you guys for hanging out and watching. Be sure to go follow uh, Kamada Joe and Eric Gephardt if you haven't. As always, with good food and good drinks, it's a party. See you guys.